This is your review of drawing electron dot diagrams. We're going to start by looking at two molecules. Step one for drawing any electron dot diagram is by identifying the number of valence electrons that are present in each of the atoms. If I consider NH3, nitrogen is in group 15, it's going to have five valence electrons. Start by drawing your central atom, or the atom that comes first, and we're going to place the five valence electrons around the nitrogen. I'm going to recommend that you go in a 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock pattern so that you spread them out correctly. Once you've gotten your first four down, we're going to go back and pair those electrons up. Nitrogen has now a lone pair, two electrons together, and the three electrons that are singly paired. My hydrogens now get drawn in. Hydrogen is in group one, so it's going to have one valence electron. It's going to get its one dot. Our last step is to now pair those single electrons up and drawing in those bonds. Remember that each bond represents two shared electrons. This is our structure for ammonia. It's a polar molecule, and it has one lone pair and three bonding pairs. Another model we can draw is carbon dioxide. Again, I'm going to start with carbon in the middle. Carbon is in group 14, so it has four valence electrons. I'm going to draw them again, starting on the top and working my way around. Drawing in my two oxygens. Oxygen is in group 16. It's going to have six valence electrons. And again, I'm starting on top. I'm working my way around. And because I know it's going to bond with the other two species, I'm going to pair the top and then go to the back side again. Similar for this oxygen, going around, all one, two, three, four. Pair on the top, and then pair on the back again. At this point, I can be connecting up my single dots one more time. I draw a single dot here, and here, here, and here. This is a little jumbled, however, this would get you credit. If you wanted to redraw it, you can draw the central carbon. You have two bonds to this oxygen, two bonds to this oxygen, and then two lone pairs. This is a nonpolar molecule because it's symmetrical. It has the same draw of electrons on both sides. We can split it both vertically and horizontally. Again, when it comes to drawing electron dot diagrams, always start by putting the central atom and the correct number of valence electrons. The number of valence electrons comes from the group on the periodic table. Continue by connecting up your single dots, and then if need be, redraw the structure so it's a little bit more clear.